Right, so I've got a coil wound. So I want to put some thermal tape on here because the, the soldering iron would melt the ABS. So I'm going to put my copper strips that I'm going to solder onto on the thermal tape. I'm hoping that the heat won't melt the ABS on the other side. We'll find out. It's just I don't want my wires to um, break off, so I'm using these copper strips to attach my big wires onto. Hoping it will stick. I wasn't sure if this would stick on the thermal tape. Seems to have done. I've seen better days, it's getting a bit crudded up with stuff. Right, so now I've got my, um, I, I actually attached an extension wire on there, but I don't need that actually now. That was to put it through the hole, because, uh, a little bit fiddly. Now the, the moment of truth, if I solder my wires onto this, um, is it going to melt the ABS? I'm, I hope it not. I think we're going to be fine actually because I'm only spot welding quite quickly really and yeah, it looks like it's going to work. Mm. Spot soldering I mean. Um, right, I've um, <coughs> I've all I've actually super glued this bobbin on because if I inadvertently pulled this bobbin out, it would rip the wires out and break them and. Well, we didn't want that happening, so I've made this permanently attached to this piece here so that the wires don't get ripped away. The other half can still be pulled clear. You know, this half can still be uh, pulled out that way. Um, I'm not going to accidentally... Uh, you know... I've got to wind the other coil, but I thought I wanted to test fit this and um, I wanted to see how this would work. So each coil will be co connected to its own um, terminal block, really. And it's a terminal, it's not really a terminal block as such, it's just a makeshift um, circuit board, really, with um, tape. <laughs> But it works anyway. I'm starving. All these magnets are pulling on my tweezers inside. Right, that's what I right. Now so, so that my wires don't get ripped, um, I'll turn my soldering iron off now. Oh, I need to add some other wires on actually. 
so that my sword and iron doesn't get I mean my wires don't get ripped um, I'm just going to put a little bit of this ABS slurry on here protect the wires so they don't get caught on anything because they could quite easily get caught on something you know something sharp because they stick out a bit unless I cover them with something this clipping thing is blocked Ah, here we go. I think that will work. Uh, so that's just gonna seal that uh, wire, that loose wire, so it doesn't float around. And, uh, obviously, it makes it a little bit difficult to swap the coils over, but then no worries. I mean, um, the, the idea is really to make this dedicate to that coil, and I can always swap the magnets out and put them in another holder if I, have, if I wanted to try different windings. Uh, yeah, this is oozing, so. A minute. Right, so <coughs> now I've got somewhere to solder my wires to without actually putting strain on this on this thin wire. Um, actually, I need a little bit of captain tape on there because that's floating around as well. That. I actually impregnated the coils, the windings with some glue, uh, spray glue, and that should um, hold them together once um, once that dries out. It's going to be a while for that to happen, I suppose, because that stuff's gooey. That's why then I wrapped it with captain tape so I won't get it all on my hands. dry because it will take a little while. Well it's dry and I can go and um, wind another coil but I need to attach some wires on because I've not checked this yet. I've not checked the um, impedance or anything. Uh, it's a thousand turns of um, the bar. Yeah, uh, as I was saying, it's a thousand turns of um, 35 g on that second rewinding. So I'll need some more uh, solar spots. I think I'm going to put, let me see where's the best place to put them. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, but I'm going to stick them on um, solder bob there and a solder bob over there, well away from my coil when I want. I want 
disturb those. And I'm going to need to anchor these wires as well, so... Uh, I'm just going to solder onto here. Yeah, it, it's going to move the tape around if I don't anchor them. I'll run the wires straight up. And we're going to need some more, um, actually the magnets underneath. Uh, I could put a piece of metal on there to hold all this lot together while I um this might be too. Let's see if I could put that on there to hold the wires in position while I use a bit more ABS um, stuff to hold these wires from moving it so sort they of hold them wires from moving. And obviously if you have a break I can solder new wires onto these. No, no big deal. This thermal tape, very useful. Um, I actually got it for the 3D printer. I haven't got a chance to put um, had a chance to put it on the heated nozzle yet. I was putting it on to reduce the amount of heat uh, radiated from the nozzle. Um, and also to stop me from actually touching it and burning myself in it, so I just haven't had a chance to put that on there yet. Most of the novels I've noticed, most of the heated hot ends have got that on. Um, <coughs> right, so these wires are good, not going to move around because that's going to hold them in place. And this is already drying out at this end, I can see. It's just some kind of... Yeah, I'll just pat it a bit. Just It'll dry out quicker. <laughs> it seems to dry like a skin over the surface and the, the inside's liquid still. And, uh, it's interesting how it, this stuff kind of dries out. not very runny either, which is a good thing. I'll leave it like that anyway, so it dries out properly. I'm going to turn the solder line off for now. Uh, I'm not going to film the winding process because it's, it's very boring. Uh, I'll just stop this now, uh, a little update.